Hey everybody, this is Media Master here today. I'm going to sh show you a brief tutorial on how to resize your image in Photoshop, um, specifically reduction, without losing the image quality. This is pretty simple, but at first I did not know how to do this and it was really confusing. But once you figure it out, it's easy, you'll be doing it all the time. First thing you got to do is go ahead and select the image that you're going to use. For me, I'm using one of my profile pics from my Facebook page. Um, what you're going to do is you need to go up to image on the top left part of your Photoshop. I have CS6, I don't know if it's different for different ones. But you're going to go to image size. This is how you would normally reduce an image. Um, but this time, instead of by cubic auto automatic, you're going to want to switch that to by cubic sharpener. It says best for reduction, obviously, because that's what I'm doing it for. And you're also going to want to make sure you have constrain proportions um, checked. That'll make sure your image stays the same proportions, you know, so it doesn't look distorted or whatever. Um, you're going to want to, whatever, however small you want your image to be, um, go ahead and put that in. Um, you know, for most images, you want to try to reduce it an easy ratio, like halving it. Like if it was a thousand pixels width, then I'd go a hundred. Um, I'd go five hundred pixels, just completely half it, or like quarter it, so you could do two fifty if it was a thousand. I found that there's a lot better quality when you do it that way. I'm just doing this one for an example, so I'm not going to find out the exact half number for this one, but that is very useful. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK, and you can see the image is all good looking and everything. Um, you could try doing it the other way with the image, image size, and bicubic automation automatic. But you're gonna find that using the bicubic sharp sharper is gonna help you so much, and it's gonna look way better. So you can go ahead and test that out for yourself. But I promise you, bicubic sharper is gonna be the trick for making your image look a lot sharper when you reduce the size of it. All right, Media Master out. Hope this helped you in your Photoshop life.